Bitcoin is the world's first completely decentralized digital currency. The way to think about Bitcoin is like electronic cash. Not money, but cash. If you think about cash, um, you've got a hundred dollar bill, and when you give it to somebody, now they have it and now you don't. If you think about electronic payments, traditionally, you have to always have a third party between you and the person you're sending money to. And when you send the other person money, you're not really giving them anything. You're telling PayPal to please deduct an amount from your account and add it to theirs. Bitcoin is like cash. There's no more PayPal, there's no more bank, there's no more Visa. It's just you and the other person and you give them the Bitcoin, now they have it and now you don't. Like any emerging technology, the first who rush in to adopt it tend to be criminals. Um, if you think about the car, the first people to really put it to use were bank robbers, and the police who were still on horseback couldn't catch up. Bitcoin uh, has had some of that. And like cars, just because criminals were the first to put them to use, doesn't mean that we banned or regulated them in any exceeding way. Eventually, law enforcement were able to catch up and deal with the new technology being used by criminals. So an interesting thing about Bitcoin is that there will only ever be 21 million uh, in circulation. Right now we're at about 13 million. Bitcoin was started in 2009, and at that time there were 50 new Bitcoins introduced into the money supply every 10 minutes. But that halves every four years. So in 2013 that halved to 25 new Bitcoins being introduced. In 2017 it'll half again to 12 and a half, and continue to half again and again, so that we reach about 21 million in the year 2140 or so. I know that sounds crazy, but what that gets you is predictability. You know exactly how fast the money supply is going to grow. And if you're worried that 21 million units is not enough to run an economy on, understand that bitcoins, individual bitcoins, can be subdivided to eight decimal places. So if you take those into account, there are actually more bitcoin units than there are currency units in the world right now. Click here to learn more about bitcoin and cryptocurrencies.